Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. With this video we start a new series that I hope you'll enjoy, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be popular judging from the amount of email and messages that I get about this subject. And the series is gonna be how to mix vocals on a two track for hip hop and trap music. Before we start, I wanna thank you all of you guys because the channel reached over 4,000 subscribers in no time, it was very fast and the feedback that I get from you is amazing, so thank you. Also I wanna apologize because uploads are not as frequent as I would like because these days I'm really overbooked at the studio, I have two albums to track and mixing non-stop every day, so please accept my apologies for not uploading as often as I would. But all that work is gonna be material for the next series, so please be patient. So let's start. We have a trap mix here, and we have a two-track bass, and um, the vocals uh, that I had to mix on top. So let's take a listen to it. Grab the bacon soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. I'm so focused, determined, and motivated. Heaven dreams of me saying, Mama, we made it. Man, it's in the streets, I'm bored the gladiators. Know a couple young and bless you by the paper. How could you be me? You're not on the scene. I'm on my little you, you won't have to be. I'm in VIP, I'm all that I can be. Stoop, 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 and geek. Feeling like Urkel and Screech. Ask a boy, say God, I reply with capiche. Always in full throttle, looking like the lotto. You look like you too cheap with that little ass bottle. Don't let like no tomorrow with a gang of models. Wow. How you gon' fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds running on screen, taking a half of you, nigga. Okay, so we have an intro, then the hook, then the first verse, hook again, second verse, and the final hook. Okay, we have vocals on top of a two track. We are gonna divide the series in section, so we're gonna do the first verse as a first video, and then the second verse and the hook. And we are gonna go through all the processing. Okay, so a little disclaimer before we start the mix here, doesn't sound exactly as the final released product because I mixed this at the studio and I had several pieces of hardware as insert, which I don't have here. As you can see, I have, um, an 1176 on the main hook, an 1176 on the first verse, and then I have a stereo EQ R24 on the two bus and the expressor compressor on the two bus again. So it's gonna sound slightly different, but you know, uh, close enough and it should be fine for the tutorial. Okay, so let's start with the first verse which is this. Grab the bacon soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. So we have an auto-tune, and these are my settings, pretty standard. When you use tuning effects, you want to put them first. This is just to give the, the usual character, the usual effect that we hear on hip hop and this kind of trap music. Then the second processor would be my 1176. Uh, I had the hardware, I not, I'm not sure if I had the recall for this. If I do, I will post a picture just so you can see the settings. So after the tuning, we have uh, compression. And then the SSL channel which I used only to compress a little bit more as you can see here, two to one ratio and add a little top end and remove some frequency around 500. Not much of a difference. Grab the bacon soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Got on my low. A little cleaner, a little more spark in the high end. Then we have saturation, 
one of my favorite URS saturation plugin. And I'm in JFET mode, modern, and 60%, and the saturation is all the way up. And this is the way I use this plugin all the time on everything. Uh, no matter which algorithm I use, I turn the saturation knob all the way up to 100%, and then I use the dry wet slide to decide how much of the wet signal inject into the track. Let's hear it with or without. Grab the baking soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. Okay, so it's just a little more dense and greedy, and it rolls the top off just a bit to make it a little less harsh, I would say. Last processing is the Fab Filter DSer. Grab the baking soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Taking out about 4 dB, 3 dB. Let's hear it without. Grab the baking soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Okay, it's pretty transparent. So I like it for vocals especially. And these were the processing on insert on the verse channel, okay? The verse channel, then it goes to a lead side chain aux bus. We will see later in the next videos why, because I'm controlling other processing that are triggered by this vocal. So this is just a send a side chain that is not going to any output, but is going to the input of some processor that we're gonna see later. And the verse goes to the verse bus out, okay? Which is a stereo aux, which is my output for the vocals. And it's important to see what's in there. And then we're gonna also take a look at the ad lib on the verse and of course all the effects. The verse bus, which is this, Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. It has another DSer on. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a punk. And this is the main EQ. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night. And this is important to hear with and without. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. Listen here, this range that goes from 200 to 500, especially the 500 area. Here is where the vocal originally was uh, so boxy and because it was recorded with a really bad mic and, and not that great to begin with. So this was probably the most important move. Here, this range. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. Listen how the vocals becomes immediately uh, more polished and professional without adding any uh, high end. And this is important because the first thing you're gonna do when a vocal is like dark or boxy, the, 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 the instinct is to turn the, the high shelf or, or some high bell and boost the high end. But that is not the first thing that you should try, at least. You can do it, of course, but try to remove first what is bothering you, what's causing the vocals to be boxy, okay? Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. It's this one. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. This frequency here around 500 and this one. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. And to a less extent. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. This one. I'm so focused, determined, and motivated. Heavy. Okay, and of course, uh, a high pass with a gentle slope at 80 hertz so is kind of unusual for me but uh the first processing uh, on the insert channel is more um dynamic i you know that i usually eq before compressing this time it, it it didn't go that way so i have 
my uh, tune in effect first, the uh, SSL channel for just the very first moves uh, of EQ. Uh, we are talking about 2 dB and a little bit of compression, but I had my 1176 first as a hardware insert for the bulk of the compression. And then saturation, which is color, but I also intended as a, a form of dynamic control, and then DSing. On the output bus, we have another DS and EQ. Next one is a problem that it was present in every vocal track of this project, probably due to the microphone. So you will see this EQ copied on all the other uh, vocal tracks for this reason. And as you can see, we have a couple of notches, very nasty frequencies that were there. I didn't track it, so I just assume since that it, th these problems were present on every vocal, that it was a problem either of the mic or the room or the preamp or whatever. Anyway, this is the difference with and without. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. I'm so focused, determined, and motivated. Heavy dreams of me saying, mama, we made it. Man, it's in the streets on board the gladiators. Okay, so without these notches, the vocal is really, really harsh, especially when, when you turn the volume up and, and you add all the effects. It was nasty. And we have a notch at 10K, a notch about 4K, and then I remove in 4 dB also at 2K and some more boxiness around 900, okay? And I'm also adding another uh, low pass filter because some low nasty frequency were still present uh, despite the first uh, low cut. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. I'm so focused, determined, and motivated. Heaven dreams of me saying, yeah, mama, we made it. Man, it's in the street, on board the... As you can see, this EQ, which is the stock EQ uh, that comes from, with Pro Tools, is pretty transparent. I mean, I'm doing 18 dB notches up here, and it's not causing any major artifact, really, okay? It's just clean up the vocals. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. Okay, it makes the vocals sit better in the mix. Then we have the art compressor. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. Without it. I'm so focused, determined, and motivated. Heaven dreams of me saying, yeah, mama, we made it. And this is a big part, as you can hear, of the, the, the density of the vocal. Now, keep in mind that we don't have a My1176 uh, in hardware insert, which was doing the heavy lifting, but uh, you can hear the final product. Uh, I will link it down below in the info box and you will have an idea. But anyway, the R compressor, I love it for vocals. It's got a great character. It's very simple and, and easy to set up. And in this case, as you can see, I'm using the electro mode as opposed to opto and the warm mode. Attack is at five. You can see release, you can see threshold and ratio, and we are doing... Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all... Around 12 dB of compression and making up the gain for pretty much the same amount. Uh, Probably I was doing the same, if not more, on my 1176. So, as you can hear, this genre, compression, don't be shy. If you have to compress the crap out of a vocal, just do it, okay? Whatever works. Then the next processor is the CLA vocals, and I use this just for the bass and the treble. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. So I removed some of the upper bass here, which is just probably a frequency around uh, five, 600. And then I added a little bit of top. I find the CLA vocals pretty great for this top boost. Very 
fit in in the genre of hip hop and 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 trap music and this kind of vocals. I wouldn't probably use it on metal and and rock and stuff like that. But for this genre, I like it. This top is very sparkly, very very focused. I like it. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Without. Jack of all trade by night. I'm a poker. He opens up the vocals very nicely. So the next one is uncommon for me, but this is how it goes. I have an SSL X verb on insert on the verse boss. Grab the bacon soda, we miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. It just makes the vocals instead of on top of the beat, inside the beat. And this is a pretty important process in mixing vocals on top of a two track. You don't have the mix, you have a two track. You have to find a way to make the vocals blend with the beat. After all the processing that we've seen so far, the vocals were still too much on top. They were unglued from the, the two track. And I want to play you the two track with this vocal only, without the verb. Grab the bacon soda, we miss it with coca. Do you hear it? Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. It sits on top of the beat. It's, it's not nice. Grab the bacon soda, this we way. miss it with coca. Everyone saluting, they know I'm a soldier. Got on my loafers, two turned up, standing on the sofas. Jack of all trade by night, I'm a poker. The thought process was, listen to the beat, and in this part, there's the piano. So, my thought process was, listen to the piano, where is it? In the space, where is it in the room? Listen to the reverb of the piano, and try to put the vocal in the same space. And I was happy with this. Okay, the delay helps uh, a lot too, but we're gonna see that later. The point is, I know hip hop and, and, and trap music and this kind of vocals usually don't use much in the way of a reverb. But if you pay attention here, you don't really hear the verb, okay? You just hear the vocal inside the music instead of on top of the beat. And you can see the settings I have, uh, 50% early reflection and 50% reverb tail. The dry wet is 7426 and the reverb time is around 600 milliseconds. Um, you don't have to use this reverb, you, you can use any. Uh, I happen to like the X verb for stereo, clean verbs without modulation. Uh, they blend better when you want a reverb that is not an effect but is just ambient. So these were the processing going on on the lead vocal and the ad lib for the first verse of the song. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at the main delay, which is shared by all the vocals, so it's pretty important, and also some other effects. So this is it for today, for our first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will like the series. If you have any questions, as usual, send us a message or write it in the comment and we will get back at you. Also, please use the email only for mixing and mastering inquiries. And if you have questions about uh, techniques or something you've seen in the video, please write it in the comment or send us a message here on YouTube. Thank you so much again for sharing the video, for supporting the channel. The channel is growing like crazy. The feedback is amazing. It's all because of you. So thank you again. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, keep sharing the videos and see you next time.